Hello everyone, UK here. Welcome to this guide for all Pieces of Eight and the Commendation Melee Island Historian. Pieces of Eight have specific spawn locations and these coins are not only used to progress the story, but to help you purchase the History of Melee Island book. There are places that the coins spawn every time along with a few RNG spots between some boxes. For this video, I'll be showing all possible spawn locations for Pieces of Eight. Now let's get straight into this guide. There are a total of 55 coins on the island that you can grab right from the beginning. There are other coins, but in order to access them, you must further progress the tall tale for them to be collected. Starting at the main dock, make your way down to these barrels. You'll find the first crate. A little further down the dock, a coin will be on top of a barrel, followed by two more crates to check. Remember, you may not see any coins in certain crates in my run, but they could be there in your game. Just as long as you check all locations from this video, you should be able to find all pieces of eight. Now turn right up the dock to a building with a small crane on top. To the left, you'll see a small shack with the crate. Across from here is another coin on top of a barrel that can be collected. Then around the back of the small shack, another crate will be on the ground. With the large dock and crane area completed, you'll want to head up to lookout point. As long as you stay on the mountain pass, you'll make your way to the top. When you reach the top of the mountain, Lookout will be standing by the fire. Speak to him and select the third option. This will distract him and you'll be able to steal his pouch of coins. Now make your way back down the mountain to the docks. To the right side of Scum Bar, there will be three more crates to search, along with one coin sitting on top of a barrel. In one of these three crates will be your pouch of coins. Once you've searched all three boxes and grabbed the barrel coin, it's time to head inside Scum Bar. As you enter, look to your right. There will be a pirate passed out along with five coins on the table. You can pick up all five of these coins. Leave Scum Bar and follow the curved road that leads into town. On the right side, there will be one crate to search along with one coin on top of a barrel. On the opposite side of the street, there are a set of small stairs that lead up to a second crate to search in this area. Continue walking into town until you pass the clock tower. On the left side of this area, there will be one crate to search along with one coin on top of a barrel. Now head down the alleyway to the right of the church. This area has two crates to search along with one coin sitting on top of a barrel. Turn back up the alleyway and enter the church. There are six chairs on the left and six chairs on the right of the room. There will be one coin sitting on each side that appears on one of six chairs, totaling two coins. At the back of the room, there are two cupboards along with a bowl of two coins sitting on top of the left cupboard. Collect both coins, then search both cupboards to find a pouch of coins. And lastly, there is one more cupboard to search, which is located in the prison. Now that you've searched all the crates in all areas, this will give you a total of 55 coins, which is enough to buy the chef's outfit to start progressing the tall tale. Purchasing the outfit and returning to the chef at Scum Bar, he will leave the room for you to create a recipe. In the corner of the room, open a cupboard to find a pouch of coins. This cupboard can only be searched after acquiring the chef's costume. Next, pull out your tankard and refill it with extra potent grog. It's time to get some pirates drunk. In the bar, you'll see two pirates drinking. You'll need to fill both pirates' tankards a total of three times. Your tankard can only fill these cups three times before it needs a refill itself. So just head back to the kitchen and refill your tankard. When you've poured both pirates three cups each of extra potent grog, they will fall fast asleep. Once they hit the table, you can steal all of their coins. Once you steal from both pirates, this will give you an additional 80 coins. 
These coins are needed in the Tall Tale to purchase certain items to allow you to progress throughout the Tall Tale. Once you unlock the Clock Tower, head all the way to the top of the Clock Tower room. Located on a table will be another pouch of coins. After completing the recipe and cooking the root beer meat, place it down on the piranha poodle's bowl behind the church. After this short sequence, the poodles will attack and kill Walt. Once the poodles run off, the pouch will be available to collect. Again, this pouch can only be collected after completing this section of the tall tale. Once we enter the mansion, there will be a small pouch located either on the table of the right of the main room or a small stand to the right of the staircase. When you enter the room and see Guybrush for the first time, there is a cupboard in the right corner of the room. This pouch will give you 70 pieces of eight. The last pouch can be found after Guybrush finishes his speech and falls asleep. You can now open the left door leading to his bedroom. To the right of the window, you'll see a box on the floor. Collecting this pouch will give you a final amount of 200 coins. Yes, there are more coins within this tall tale, but they are used to purchase several items. By the time you're exiting the mansion, you'll want to have a total of 200 coins. After completing the final battle with the ghost skeletons, head to the Citizen of Melee near the clock tower. You can purchase the history book for 200 coins, unlocking the commendation Melee Island Historian. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you've followed along collecting all the coins and unlocking this commendation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.